The University of Washington is increasingly known for its extraordinary commercialization activities. And what we're doing is bringing what goes on in the research laboratories out into the real world. We knew that we were seeing a new level of engagement when life science executives Carol Gallagher and Mike Gallatin convened and led our Therapeutics Diagnostics Commercialization Advisory Board meetings this year. And Steve Singh, CEO of Concur, called in from a business trip for a brainstorming session with one of our outstanding computer science faculty. The progress that C4C has made is truly extraordinary. We're number one in the nation in terms of licensing. The number of companies that have been started over the past year put us in the very top handful of universities. My team is working on a project called Empower, and it's actually a mobile app for patients to use when they leave the hospital. C4C has helped us at a really critical time point in the development of our project. For our team, C4C has been the support and the encouragement to keep going when no one else believed in us. My project here uh, with David Baker in the Baker Lab is to develop an oral therapeutic for celiac disease. What the C4C has really helped us with is in obtaining uh, GAP funding. Without GAP funding, our project would be languishing in the lab. These technologies would be developed up to a point where they have achieved uh, some kind of proof of principle, but at that point they're no longer attractive to the basic research funding agencies. Obtaining that type of funding, that GAP funding, can be quite difficult and the C4C has been really excellent in identifying opportunities and uh, presenting them to us. C4C is an invaluable member of the team in, in seeing my technology leave the University of Washington. By providing insight on what the market needs are, they help shape the technology that we're developing to meet the actual need as opposed to the need that I, I may falsely be perceiving. My technology is focused on providing information, information to the patient in the home health setting, and also information to the clinician. As a team member in the, in the technology commercialization process, C4C is actually providing input that directly impacts the research going on in, in my laboratory. We're trying to develop a technology that can be used to identify trauma patients who have a bleeding risk by measuring a sample of their blood. The Entrepreneur in Residence program has been a huge help for us. It's through this we've met Bob Berry, who is our CEO of our spin-out company, and he's done this before and he knows how to actually take a technology and turn it into a product, and it's been invaluable to us. I really enjoy research and I really enjoy that with research you actually can take a different path every day and explore new innovative solutions in the world. Uh, without Commercialization Fellowship, I wouldn't be working for Polydrop right now and I wouldn't be here um, and working on this innovative technology at Professor Daniel Poza's lab, which would be very sad for me. C4C supported the inception and development of my company, Aqueduct Neurosciences. We were able to bring it through the process of gaining intellectual property, marketing, product development, uh, concepts that were very foreign to myself and my bioengineering colleague, Dr. Barry Lutz. The technology that we've been working on, uh, we hope will directly impact patients' lives. I'm a pediatric neurosurgeon, and part of what I do is treating hydrocephalus. Uh, the device is currently in use, uh, lasts a short time, require numerous operations, and we've taken the approach to try and build a device that's going to be better, faster, more efficient at the end of the day, and hopefully improve patients' lives. We think it will be revolutionary, it'll be life-changing for these families, and it's really going to change the standard of care. Without C4C, I think it's not a stretch to say that we'd still be in the laboratory. So I don't think it's an understatement to say that this project would still be a research project without the guidance and uh, active input of the Center for Commercialization.